anyone could dream up. One way or another, professional psychics seem to be enjoying a remarkable following these days, with clients flocking for advice on what might be in store for them. Jane Hansen puts a few to the test. So I've had feedback from other people to say, hey, what you told me is right, OK? It did happen. You may be called upon very soon to, uh, to put out some pretty big effort. Psychic ability. They promise the future, but can they really deliver? You know, you talk about woman's intuition. I'll play a hunch. I've got a gut feeling. That's all a form of being psychic. It's all intuition. It's like sight, uh, hearing, touch. It's this gift, if you like, or another, another sense. And then gradually, as you're happy with that, just move the outside ones away and leave about 13 in the middle. Believe it or not, the ancient art of fortune-telling is booming. There's a bit of a mission for you coming along and tied together with this uh, tiger. This is the age. From uh, uh, the problems that people are having through the recession and uh, relationship breakdowns and so forth. They obviously need somebody to talk to, and they can't necessarily go to a priest, perhaps, or a, a psychologist. Simon Turnbull, self-confessed psychic and president of the Australian Psychics Association. He's also the creator of telephone telepathy. We thought we'll be very economical and just do it nine to five, and then the calls just kept coming. Um, although you need to get all the psychic hotline, Sally speaking. The psychic hotline. For a fee, you can order takeaway predictions 24 hours a day. And since its recent inception, the phones have not stopped ringing. Yes, we're all professional psychics here. How do you do it over the phone? They listen to their tone of voice, and uh, from that they get their, their starting point. Then they use whatever uh, tools they may, may possess, their tarot cards or astrology charts or mahjong tiles or whatever according to simon only the cream of the mystic crop can work here so in the interests of clairvoyant consumerism we decided to put these profits to the test for psychics exposed to our office cynic helen jackson skeptical in a word skeptical trust that gut feeling that you you do get quite often and allow your belief systems to step and keep to the side First up, John Callanan, a contract cleaner before he discovered his so-called gift. Well, I used to say bullshit <laughs> to my wife when she said about the stars. She'd say, oh, look at your stars today, being a Libra. You know, it says you're going to do this, and I'd say, oh, rubbish. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. John describes himself as a channel. Did he know things that he couldn't have known for sure? Yeah, he did. He knew that, that my mother was not alive, that my grandmother was not alive. He was talking about them as maybe even voices that were talking to him. How do you figure he knew that? I don't know. And I do see like um, uh, uh, like a nice a reddish colour. John predicted Helen would acquire a red sports car. Reasonably tall guy, OK? Meet the man of her dreams in October, come into money and expand her career opportunities. I'm seeing a dark-haired man around who is either dark-haired or an earth sign, so he's either a Taurus, um, a Capricorn or a Virgo. Next, Sally Fishbeck, a tarot card reader. There's also um, some money coming into This is quite a large sum of money. Um, it is related to your, your work area. What, do ideas just pop in your head? Yes. How do you know those ideas are psychic and not just imagination? Because, as I said before, my track record and what I've picked up on before is as um, being proven. Sally also predicted a new romance, more money and career advancement. Do you see a red sports car? Much to Helen's disappointment, no luck in the red sports car department. You're going to be called upon very soon to, uh, to put out some pretty big effort. Barry Eaton, astrologist and psychic. You've had quite a bit of unhappiness in the past, some, some experiences that have uh, disappointed and even made you bitter to a certain extent. By reflecting those answers, if you like, I'm able to help people look within because all the answers are within. There's a growth coming for 
Helen in her personal belief in her personal life. Bruce Alden uses the ancient Chinese method of fortune telling the mahjong tiles. Could even be a new job, which can have something more to do with your own creativity. How do you tune into someone? Do you hear voices? No, it's a feeling. It's hard to explain. It's, I don't hear voices. I do hear voices at times. Uh, generally, when I'm working with someone, I feel. Do you see a red sports car? <laughs> Uh, not in these tiles the way they're set up this morning. If they believe it, then they may act on it. And if they don't believe it, then they won't act on it. I talked to four people. There was a thread through it that covered job, money, relationships, and becoming more spiritual. And three out of the four said very similar things. So has our office skeptic had a change of heart? When you see me driving around in a little red sports car with massive amounts of money and a new man, <laughs> we'll believe it then. What do you reckon?